Show both cameras. There you go. Right, so you press that button and then boom. Back to camera mode. Hey, Life with the Box here. Uh, here with another video. So a lot of people have asked about the rear view uh, camera that I'm using. And so in this video, I'm going to talk about, about this unit that I have. The unit I have is called is, is by a company called TwoGuard. This is actually not my first one. I've had an, a previous uh, dash mirror camera before and I've replaced it with this one mainly because the screen and, and uh, the speed of it. So let me just start it up. Give you an idea of uh, what it looks like. So here it is, TwoGuard, that's the brand. And um, that's how long it took to boot up. So I can start driving now and you can tell that it is recording because the red light is flashing. Okay, so with this device, um, you can have two inputs. So you can have record the front of the car and the rear of the car. Of the rear of the car. As you can see right now, it is filming whatever is behind me and because I have a camera um, installed in the back. So when you're driving, um, depending on what kind of car you have, uh, with this car, my Honda Element, I prefer using this because sometimes with just a regular mirror, I can't see what's behind me because of the because I might have some people or whatever blocking my view. So with this, I can have you know I can have a curtain, I can have uh, people, I can have um, boxes or whatever, right? That I'm carrying my car uh, blocking my view, but it doesn't matter because I have a camera to see what's behind me. So, so that's the, that's the main advantage of using this. So what it's doing right now is it sensed a, a, a shock. So that's why it's recording thinking it might, I might have gotten to an accident. Another thing with the, with this, uh, is it's voice activated. So with a voice, with the command of my voice, I can choose uh, which camera to show. So it's kind of hands free. Uh, I can say, um, show front camera. And there we go. We're showing the front of the the car, which is uh, there's a camera built in right here, right behind this this mirror. So that's why you can see my hand here. And then um, you can say show rear camera. And there you go. We're showing the rear camera. Um, you can say show both cameras. There you go. So you're showing both the front and the back. With when you go into this mode, you can see more of the rear. Um, in the front because when you go with just one camera view you're getting you're essentially chopping off part of the view okay so show rear camera okay so some people might be like oh but you can't see like i want to see more of the bottom of the or the top of the car so what you do is you can just put your finger here somewhere and okay so that's brightness that controls the brightness and then this side controls the uh the angle there you go the angle of the camera so I can point it up or I can point it all the way down and it's really up to you but for me I like to have it at around this angle um, let me just a little bit lower here okay so it's all I mean you can all change it however you like so on the top right here top right corner here it tells you and I know it's kind of hard to read but it tells you your kilometers per hour so your speed your time and the date um, I like to go by the speed here or in general I like to go by the GPS speed uh, this is this is through a GPS unit module which I have actually you can see it it's uh, installed right here so that is how it's getting its speed right uh, it's more accurate than the speedometer in your car now um, when you go into reverse uh, it will actually give you a wider angle of view. So I just put myself in reverse and you can see there are park lines and it also gives you a super wide view of what's behind you, right? Now I'm going to put myself back into park or drive and it's going to go back to the previous setting. Reverse. Okay, there you go. So it's back in reverse. So you see my kid there, he's back there. And I mean, as you can see, if I didn't have that mirror, I wouldn't have been able to see my son there. And uh, he's actually in front of, he's touching these sensors on the back of the car. And I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have seen him or I wouldn't have heard him, which is why 
it's so important to have in something like this installed in your truck uh, or something that's that's more elevated you won't be able to see uh, little things like him let's go into the menu system to show you the settings and what uh, what it can do so here settings All right so you can choose so this records in 2.5 uh, K resolution for the front camera and the rear is I think just 1080 um, so if I, if I press this here uh, so right now I have I'm okay yeah so I can choose 1080 and 1080 front and back or I can choose uh, 2.5 K in the front and 1080 in the back uh, loop recording I can choose one minute three minutes or five minutes I like to do five minutes um, would you like to record audio? I like it on, right? Uh, this is the sensor that was uh, that I have set. Then parking guard. So you can choose uh, to wire this to your battery, and it can it can um, monitor any motion, and can record uh, if 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 the car senses some activity. Uh, license, so I guess your license plate on and off in the car. You can choose that. I don't have that set right now. Um, screensaver. So you can have sc the screen turn off at a certain time. I don't have that on. I like to leave it always on. So video mode. You can choose to have the video record in H.264 or 265. I like 264 for now. Uh, frequency. Like uh, where I live, uh, 60 hertz is good. Uh, I'm going to change it back to 50 hertz. I mean, sorry, 60 hertz here in North America. Okay, ketone off. I like it on. Speaker, I turn that off. Booting sound is, I don't like that, so I turn that off. Stream the media. Oh, if you put like a, like a cart, like um, videos or something in the, in the card, I think you can stream something. I don't know. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, date and time. Uh, you can format the card, change everything back to default. Okay. So speech recognition. So this is where the voice prompts are located. Um, so instead of just showing front camera, back camera, whatever, you can also do turn on screen, turn on audio, show both cameras, you know, start the video, turn off screen, turn off audio, show front camera, stop recording the video, uh, lock the video, or take a photo, or show the rear camera, which is what I showed as well earlier. Okay, so I'm going to leave that on. Uh, this tells you the version. Uh, this is a GPS test. Okay, all the satellites around me. Okay, that's working. Uh, time zone, speed calibration. Okay, it's pretty accurate to me. I don't need to do anything here. Okay, let me get out of here. Zero. Okay, speed setting. Speed setting. I don't know what this means. Okay, 160. Okay, speed unit. You can change from miles per hour to kilometers per hour. All right. Uh, where I live, we use kilometers per hour. And so, yeah, this is basically, uh, I just kind of went through the whole menu system here on the two guard um, mirror. Hope you guys have an idea now of what to expect with this unit. Okay, so let me just show you. Um, it's a 12 inch unit uh, screen. And then the camera, as you can see here in the front, you know what? I still have, it's funny, I still have still have the sticker which I should have taken off uh -huh. yeah okay well that's how new it is but there is the front camera and it's adjustable right so you can adjust the angle depending on uh, the location of where you have installed and the whole unit basically uh, attaches with these two elastic um, clips right and they just clip on uh, your your old mirror so nothing is actually permanent you can take it off anytime right and on the top we have a USB power that's how it gets power and then one of these is uh, to connect the GPS 
and the other one is to connect the rear camera, the rear view camera. And as you can see here, that is where you put your micro SD card slot. Um, and on the bottom, we have a button here, turns it off. So if you turn it off, right, this becomes a normal mirror, right? So for some people who um, like the option of having both, there you go, right? So you press that button and then boom, back to camera mode. As you can see, this camera is very sharp. It's, it's almost like, it's like watching a TV, but in your car, right? Super clear. Again, if you press it, turns off, becomes a mirror, right? Back on, it's fast. So let me just show you the camera in the back, how it looks like. Okay, and this is just temporary, but I have the camera fixed right under my spoiler. And that's how it looks like. That basically concludes the review uh, or walkthrough of this uh, two guard um, rear mirror camera. I hope you guys have a better idea of uh, this unit and I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.